All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. And boy, what a week. So, uh, the stock market trading is doing very well. Uh, I still have been doing playing a little too greedy because I was trying to adapt my usual out of the money strategy into stocks, and that doesn't work uh, nearly as well because obviously stocks, you know, they, they don't gyrate nearly as crazy as like you know Bitcoin tends to do, right? So anyway, but I'm learning a lot. Uh, it's making some good money. Uh, however, I still need to fix. Uh, oh, what a shock! Amazon's finally up. Oh, funny. Even uh, Apple is up. Wow, these these two idiot stocks are finally doing something. Yeah, they've been beaten down pretty recently, past couple of weeks. So, uh, so yeah, I mean things are going well. Once I um, you know, learn even more, you know, just start pulling free money out of the stock market, essentially. So again, if you want to know what I'm talking about, you gotta go to the live stream here, trovo.live forward slash real Johnson Chan. And uh, usually after 4, 4.30 p.m. Eastern, you know, I do like a post stock markets update and then we always watch my stock guy, all right, from YouTube. Uh, but for the most part, everything's looking pretty good. Like we've had like what? 10 days of straight gains or something like that, seven. So we were bound for a kind of down day, which is technically pretty good because, you know, you got to do some profit taking at some point, so might as well get it over with. So yeah, crude oil's down, markets are down, no surprise. The Fed said they're going to buy up everything, so yeah. Silver is still being suppressed heavily, but at some point it's got to snap. 10-year yield, yeah, pretty much the same. Dollar is getting pounded. Right, the dollar or the Dixie index down 32 cents today. So, uh, the do dollar is just getting hit pretty hard. So that's uh, <clears throat> so that's interesting. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sold those Apple calls because now it's actually going up finally. Uh, Amazon's considered a strong buy still, uh, which doesn't make sense. Where should go? Yeah, Apple and. Yeah, these things are still... Actually, I don't think this is updated yet. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to go back into stupid Apple. Yeah, see, now... Eh, I don't know, man. But it is going up on a down day. So, I don't know. I just don't like these really big tech stuff because they're just so difficult for it to move up. But the stock, I did recommend Amazon and Apple, so... I don't know. It's, it's just so expensive. Maybe I'll get into Apple. I don't know, but I don't want to spend $2,000 on it. So maybe I could try looking at like a nine nine month option. Uh, Bitcoin and really all cryptocurrencies, as I've always said, just skyrocketing like crazy. All right, Dogecoin especially has uh you know caught up. So I did an analysis of like how I made my money in 2017. All right, and it turns out that if I chose Litecoin or Dogecoin, it would not have mattered. I would have made the exact same percent return. So that's actually pretty good. So if you're in Litecoin or Dogecoin, if history holds, then it doesn't matter what you hold. Because Dogecoin's been suppressed. Well, I shouldn't say suppressed, but it's been undervalued for a very long time. So it's finally just becoming what it's supposed to be worth. Uh, so again, as Bitcoin goes up, everything else has to go up. So, you know, I still don't believe, I still am pretty sure that Bitcoin will still be the king coin. Uh, there are technically other cryptocurrencies that are actually better in terms of programming and usage, like, say, Cardano, which is also why it's been going up a lot, too. Uh, so I've been saying my live streams, I'm switching to Cardano, but now I'm actually buying Dogecoin, and then now I don't know what to do because there's just too many good options, right? But you can't go wrong with Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's the safest bet. Uh, Cardano and Dog uh, and like. Then it's Litecoin, and then Car no, no, Cardano, then Litecoin, and then Dogcoin. All right, I'm doing Dogcoin right now, uh, but you'll probably you'll do just fine getting Cardano or even Litecoin, but probably Cardano. Because the problem is, I know Cardano is going to go way up more so than Litecoin usually. So the risk is, if I'm going in Dogcoin and then Cardano skyrockets. You know, I technically, you know, uh, missed the boat on that. I'll still obviously make money in the crypto markets, you know, once this whole bubble hyperinflates, then, you know, kabooms. But one thing I'm thinking about is, does it ever crash? Because the Federal Reserve is just printing more money and issuing more debt and buying everything up. So prices are being artificially inflated for literally forever. 
I don't know. Uh, but uh, Elon Musk did just buy Bitcoin, and, and um, you know, a really good point was made when I went on the Red Pill Project yesterday, which, you know, I can probably say because, you know, there's not a lot of people watching this video. So, but, you know, if Elon Musk thought Bitcoin was going to crash, why the hell would he spend one and a half billion dollars to buy Bitcoin? That's a lot of money for him and for Tesla, right? So, you know, that's a very good point. So, yeah, if you're in crypto right now, great. You know, add to your positions. If you're not in crypto, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you better get into crypto, all right? There's plenty of options in terms of price. You got a lot of money? You know, you can buy whatever this stuff. If you don't have a lot of money, you better buy Cardano or Dogcoin, right? That's your entry ticket because this stuff is really cheap. Well, when it goes to like 10 bucks, you make like 20x your return, 15x, right? You can turn 100 bucks into 15 to 20x of that, right? You got a couple thousand. Now we're talking serious money. We're talking five figures. You don't have to do anything. You just hold it. And on top of that, you can stake Cardano, right? You go to... Your Roy wallet. You go to this, right? A lightweight online wallet for Cardano. And it does staking for you too, right? You just gotta pick your pool and you know, I'm not gonna explain this. If if you've been in crypto for a while, you should be able to figure this out on your own. Right? Because they already figured did all the hard work. So this is what I'm using, right? Because I don't want to download any more nodes onto my computer. I'm already running like JMC coin and hundred coin and speed coin and all that stuff. And then for the most part, I think I've stabilized the projects too, so uh, you know, Mitch and Kex won't be able to sabotage our shit anymore. Yeah, but for the most part, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back into the stock markets because I actually want to be trading right now. I'm actually thinking about maybe buying Apple, right? Maybe I'll actually bite the bullet and try it again, right? Because this stupid stock has finally gone up in price in some... Actually, let's just take a look at it. Uh, it's all-time high was 143 bucks. 137, 36, yeah. So the way it looks is it flatlines and goes up a little bit, then it goes down, and then flatlines again, goes up a little bit. Yeah, so this thing is doing exactly what I've always talked about. But we're talking, it takes weeks for this thing to go up. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to buy something like this then. Because that means I'm not going to make money off of my call option on Apple until like at least a month from now. But I mean, I know the markets are going to go straight up, too, so. I don't know. Maybe there's, like, an alternative. Let's take a look at face, Facebook. Oh, this thing does the same shit, too. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Tesla's going to be so expensive. Yeah, my stock, I didn't even recommend Tesla. I guess, I guess we'll take a look. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah, because as you notice, we don't look at fundamentals anymore. I mean, I still look at it because I want to know it. But for the most part, just whatever you hear on the mainstream fake news terrorist media is usually good enough, right? What you're looking for is mainstream adoption of the blockchain and or cryptocurrency, but at minimum blockchain. Elon Musk is obviously super awesome because he's just going all in, right? Bitcoin, and he's pushing and promoting Dogcoin, which is great for all of us. So, again, as I... I'm trying to download the uh, Red Pill Project video that I did yesterday and try to put it up on the Rumble. Uh, but, yeah, right? You know, the idea is get people to buy, to get in the exchanges to buy Dogcoin, and then they go, hey, I want more than Dogcoin. What are all these other cryptocurrencies? That's the idea. That's very powerful fundamentals. Get every, because remember, what's going to hyperinflate this bubble? Getting all the people of the world to buy up cryptocurrency while the rich people are actually doing like 99% of the volume. They buy all that shit up and then they start doing more fake news terrorists like, it's going to the moon, it's going to the moon, it's going to skyrocket, buy, buy, buy. And then at the same time, they quietly are dumping their cryptocurrencies and then you get a crash, right? Because that's how the you know evil rich people scam always works, right? I called it easily in 2017. I called it pretty good too. I called it... Like sometime in November 2017, maybe a little earlier than that, all right? Because I saw that this shit was going way too high. I was like, you know what? I'm taking my profits now. If I'm wrong, then whatever. I just keep making money off of... <sighs> what the hell is wrong with this? I keep making money with, you know, you know, with whatever's going on, right? Just take my cash. Because I'm pretty sure I sold when, like, Bitcoin was like 15K. I was like... 
This is way too much. We're already like 12, 13, 14x the old, you know, 2016 uh, boom. All right, because Bitcoin back then, the, you know, the previous bull run was 2011, 2012. Something like that, it was shot up to like 1200 bucks. So I was like, yeah, this is going to take a while. <laughs> you know, 1200 bucks is, is a lot. So I was like, you know what? Let's take my marbles, go home, cash out. I obviously knew the real number. I've now revealed it, quarter million dollars. And I was like, you know what? I'll, you know, I started 500 bucks. Now I have a quarter million. If I sell right now, I'm going to sell right now. <laughs> okay. All right, and I called it. I call. I called it so so well, and I don't even. I didn't even know as much as I know now back then. I knew a lot back then too. So, yet yeah, in a way, a lot of ways, I didn't know anything. So, yeah. So look at this, right? Normie interest is still thirty-five. Though I think this week, because it's going to be pretty high. It's going. At least it better be higher than thirty-five. So people are getting into crypto. But now we know the Fed and the hedge funds are buying up all the crypto. And of course, you got Elon Musk, you know, doing the good work, doing God's work. Again, I don't know why people give Elon so much crap. Uh, of course. Oh, here's implied volatility. What am I looking at here? Oh, I'm looking at Facebook. I was like, wait a minute, this is an Apple. Uh, here we go. Actually, I could take a look. What's the stock screener say on Apple? Or Facebook? Neutral. Yeah, we're not going to buy that. Um, let's see. Apple, Apple. Oh, great. I have to click this again. Uh... Well, they do have a September. That's seven months from now. That, that could be cheaper. Please tell me it's a lot cheaper. This doesn't tell me anything. Implied volatility of 0.78%. That is such a shitty... What? Well, it is half the price, so I don't have to spend two grand. But 145 is a lot. Okay. All right. I'll, I might consider buying one of these call options because this is kind of cheap. It's well, that's eight dollars above the thing. Because I've learned that I need to when I'm buying stock options, I actually need to buy at the money or as close as to the strike price as possible. So I really should be looking at this one, the one forty. But why are some of these like? Why are there like crazy gyrations in this implied volatility? Because I, because the sock guy put out a trading tip about standard deviation, and I was like, "What the hell is he talking about?" Actually, let's have you guys learn something new, especially since I'm trying to figure it out myself. <clears throat> so all you have to know is, 68.2 percent of the time, the price goes up or down one standard deviation. 95.4 percent of the time, it's two SDs, and then. 99.7% of the time, it's three standard deviations. So, of course, the most important thing is really just the first two standard deviations. If, for example, a stock is trading with a 20% implied volatility, the standard devi deviation ranges are between 80 to 120 bucks for one SD, 60 to 140 for two SDs, and then, of course, 40 to 160 for three SDs. This is why Bitcoin options do so well, because the implied volatility is like 114%. So if Bitcoin's 10 grand, it's actually moving up and down $11,400, right? And that's for one standard deviation. Imagine if it goes two or three. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So we go back to, we go back to here. This isn't even one percent. So this price, the uh, price of this option, is only gonna go up one or two percent. That's like nothing. What am I gonna do with it? But here it says thirty-five percent. So you know, <clears throat> now we're talking money. Now we're talking money, right? In, in Apple's case, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be just a one percent standard deviation. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> find out what the oh man. volatility I have to figure out what the actual implied vol oh great um
implied volatility is surging for Apple. Yeah, their site's always slow. Shut up. All right, implied volatility. I assume this is for Apple. Yes. The implied volatility today is 1.42 percent. Oh, it tells you right. Here. It tells you right here. Um. So the price of Apple goes up or down 1.42 percent per standard deviation, and that's within one year. What the hell? That means it only goes up like a dollar thirty-six. But we know the markets are going up. The Fed's buying up all the assets, and the markets just will just keep going straight up. So this thing has to go up a lot. Hmm, interesting. All right, I'm gonna have to figure this out uh, off stream. But anyway, I don't want this to go too long. So anyway, um, yeah. So pretty much things are going well. Just get into crypto. Um, if you don't like again, you want to do the stock stuff, you gotta watch my live stream. Otherwise, don't try this on your own because you'll probably just screw up and lose all your money. Uh, but yeah, things are looking bullish. So you know, I'm I'm doing pretty well, making money, right? I I have to get rid of all my bad out of the money trades. And yeah, uh, go go give me money on Subscribestar if you want to support me. And I'll still do this for free, but even if it's just like a dollar a month, I like that because it lets me know that people actually, you know, care about what I have to say. So, But if not, then whatever, just spread my material, blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, I will see you all at 4 p.m. or 4.30 p.m. To later today for the uh, aftermarkets thing. Uh, if you're watching the live stream, if not, uh, I'll see you all next week. So, uh, thanks. Oh, and wow. Yeah. I think Red Pill Project must be juicing my YouTube stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. See you all next week. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, economy is dying. In the meantime, rich people getting richer. These equity markets are <laughs> being manipulated higher, including crypto. So, you know what? We'll just take the rich people's money, right? You know, you want to talk about distributing wealth. Well, this is one way to do it, right? And I'm just doing it in the comfort of my own home.